Yeah, oh cool, I love that invisible cloak. Wow, Mattel are picking up my ideas. I'm really, really happy about that. Hey, look over there. If I had a rubber chicken, I could give it a slap, but uh, it's missing. Yes, 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 Turbo Thomas, go! Turbo Thomas, go! Yes, go! Yeah! Oh! And it's just frustrating it doesn't go on there. And that is a big problem in my world! Well, you don't see that on YouTube every day, I can tell you. He knows nothing! Nothing! Oh my crikeys, I found a Thomas and French Trackmaster boat and sea set! Wow, that's a really inventive name. It comes with an exclusive Thomason boat. In fact, it's already got an invisibility cloak built into it. That's amazing. They must be listening to me. It says Thomas powers the boat from Dr. Doc, so we're drifting away from Soda Island. I can see something that is very important that is missing on this playset. One thing is needed on this playset to lift it right up. Do you know what's missing? I saw it as soon as I bought this in store. We're going to talk about what's missing and ask why is that very important thing missing let's do it quite a curious and very different trackmaster 2 place that it gets quite high ranking on the fisher price review website i'm actually missing a rubber chicken i've got my normal chicken again my military grade chicken has gone missing somewhere let's take a look at the back of the box there's a read on the back of the box i'll read part of it for you all aboard as imagination sets sail watch thomas go from racing around the tracks to sailing across the sea why are we sailing across the sea? You can read the rest of it if you want, but it sounds like Sodor Island Drift to me. Quite a curious place set. It's got some water track there, got the boat of course, the boy is enjoying that boat there, but I also like to take a look at what's going on in the background. And it might also help if I bring another box in from a recent review, yes, a Twisting Tornado set there. This is a curious one indeed, and what I'll do is I'll show one box, and then I'll show the next box, and we'll flip-flop, and then you'll start to unpick this picture. It seems like it's the same background, but the camera is set at a slightly different angle, and it's a bit tighter on the Twisting Tornado set. And look at the wood floor as well. The wood floor on the Twisting Tornado set looks different in the foreground of the set. I dare say there's a bit of Photoshop trickery going on here, but it's always curious what is going on in the background, especially that spilt bucket of toys. I'll tell you what, there's something that I can see uh, with my Photoshop eyes going on here. Let me look at the Twisting Tornado set here. Let me point out a few things. There is a light coming from the window here, going across the floor, and you can see part of the playset is casting a shadow there. To me, this playset looks like it's actually on this real floor, especially because of the shadows that it's casting. It seems like it is actually in that room. Okay, but when I come along and look at the boat and sea set, Hmm, I'm starting to see problems here and I'm starting, well, I'm starting to think there should be a shadow cast from that section there. It looks like this has just been landed in here via a Photoshop edit and cut. Uh, it doesn't look like it's actually part of this room and I'm also a little bit suspicious about whether that child there is actually there with the playset and actually in that room. I mean, someone with better Photoshop eyes than me can maybe tell me more about that picture. And another very sneaky thing I can see going on between that picture there and this picture here. Can you see what's going on? With the Twisting Tornado set, we are set further back in the room. And you can see the bookshelf there. Just remember that bookshelf, okay? And it looks like you can see the scale of the set versus the room, in particular the boy. But when we take a look at the boat and sea set, we are set further forward in the room. We are seeing the couch here. Okay, that table is much further away, but this set seems quite large. Hmm, do you see what's going on there? Very sneaky. Yes, when I take a look at this picture here, that playset seems bigger than that playset there. I actually have that playset, so maybe when I build up the boat and sea set, we'll put the two side by side. Apart from being a crybaby about the background there, the most important part to look in this box is actually down the side here. Okay, this playset has 20 pieces. It certainly has some quite curious parts. We get a nice seagull, Thomas. We get the boat, of course. We get the docks and the bits and bobs for the docks. We get these parts of lumpy, bumpy water track. And then we've got the Trackmaster 2 track parts, but I think only a few of these are actually flat track. I think you've got some Trackmaster 2 clangers in amongst that. So by seeing this, if you're a person that just likes conventional Trackmaster 2 track, uh, this is possibly a set to avoid now. Another very curious thing I think is the price I paid for that, which in Australia is $59, is sort of the same price as a set like that one there, which is awesome. 
On the Fisher Price website, the Boat and Sea set gets a higher star rating versus the Railway Race set. And this set comes with an exclusive Race and Percy and a Streamlining Thomas. I would highly recommend this set to you. I think it's a fantastic set. And we're going to find out whether the Boat and Sea set is actually better than the Railway Race set. Anyway, that's enough about talking about this set. I will gently put it away. Oh, exactly what I need next. Come here, my little cookie! Yo! Okay, I'm just looking at the way this is packaged, and this chicken may not be needed, so just quieten down, quieten down. It looks like I've got to come in and cut this, and it also looks like the boat has been attached to the box at the bottom. And I want to really preserve our invisible cloak. So what that translates to... You're fired! And quiet! Yeah, rubber chickens are very useful, but they're also highly destructive. They tend to wreck everything. I want to try and keep this, and I'll come in here and do a little snipperoonie there. But I think I've got to undo the box to get the boat away. Oh, Thomas is going to come out. Now I've done that. Yeah. Oh, cool. I love that invisible cloak. Wow, Mattel are picking up on my ideas. I'm really, really happy about that. It does explain why I was having trouble seeing Thomas on the boat there. Well, because he had the invisible cloak uh, from factory. Oh, there he is. I can see him properly now. Oh, that's much better. I know it's gonna set the haters off, they hate me doing stuff like that. Have you worked out what I feel is missing from the set? And it has to do with something up here. What do you think's missing there? A very, very simple thing they could have added on here to really give it the thumbs up. Uh, I've got to get into this box now. Now, I haven't seen the film Big World, Big Adventures because, well, a lot of the shops uh, where I live, they don't, no longer have DVDs, like physical media is gone. It's all streaming now. And I can see, wow, the box is starting to really undo on me. There is the beautiful uh, coloured constructions. Okay, wondrous. And everything's nicely bagged up. Wow, these parts, parts are bigger. Um, yeah, then they look on the side of the box, which is often a... Wow, that water track is quite big. And I've got to get in here um, to work out how to get that out. There's another bag of stuff here. Okay, nice. Yes, um, so without seeing the movie, I have no idea how this boat uh, really plays. I'm going to have to get into this box here uh, to get these undone. After a bit of daddy twisting there and bits like that come out, I have freed up the vessel here. Is this the Titanic of this set, do you think, or is this going to play out wonderfully? And it is quite a... Um, it's a strange sort of thing because it's as tall as it is long. It looks tipsy. Uh, but you see what it's missing. I'm not going to tell you yet. I want you to work it out because it's all about crossing the T's and dotting the I's as far as I'm concerned with toys. Okay, uh, this uh, boat here is quite unusual. Would be one word for it. Different would be another word for it. Uh, yes, the way it plays is very different. Uh, I'm trying to think of nice words to say here. Thomas keys into the cogs there with his driving wheels and that powers the wheel on the bottom here. These front wheels here are actually like on a an axle that goes you know, rockety rockety like a children's toy. Uh, you know those dogs you drag along and they sort of wobble as you go and it's all done by basically the wheels are offset on the axle. Yes, um, can you see what's missing here? I'm still giving you clues here. One thing would have really lifted this up and let me just do some research online. I'll go and look at some wiki pages and see if this uh, craft here has got a name. And also, I was going to put Thomas here, but I just couldn't find him. I've got no idea where Thomas has gone. <laughs> he doesn't even know the name of the boat in that place yet. It's obvious the name of that boat! Hey, look over there! I can see one of his precious rubber chickens on the table. <laughs> I'm going to grab another one. I've already got his camel one. And when he says his chicken's disappearing, he's going to panic! I better move quick. He might be back soon. <laughs> there it is. Let me grab it. Get you around the neck. Quiet. You're coming with me. <laughs> Okay, I'm back after a very torrid time of those uh, Thomas fandom wiki pages and oh, I don't link to those pages ever and we'll talk about that later in the video. I went to try and find um, a name for this vessel and Big World Big Adventures seems to have a, a whole you know, blister full of new characters and characters leached over from the Great Race. 
uh, but I don't think this vessel has a name and I may be corrected here and this goes into the thing about what this vessel is really missing because it's part of the Thomas world have you worked it out yet well we'll just might leave it as a bit of a cliffhanger hey you know if this if this vessel had that one thing oh, oh there's Thomas that invisibility cloak plays havoc at least I found Thomas yeah that one thing that if this vessel had have you worked it out would really lift it up it needs it it's not there uh, let's get into the playset here and I'll get the constructions that are over here well, that's weird I'm sure I left my rubber chicken there man when I was over looking at those stupid wiki pages I did hear a very strange mumbling coming from over here okay well that's what's in this place that you see that on the side of the box there's a little bit of uh, putting together it looks very simple to do there um, how to put a battery into your Thomas uh, that's the layout it's yes different I'm trying to use nice words and not nasty words and there is yeah a bit of before you play because I'm a man I never read that and on the back here how to play and I dare say that if you don't know how to play well I don't know who's going to teach you in fact maybe the salvation of this set is it looks like Thomas leaves Sutter Island and it looks like he comes back home I mean thank goodness for that now one thing I will point out here is this vessel here is only referred to as being called the boat everywhere I see it being referred to it's just spoken about as being the boat I'll put batteries in this Thomas yes it works let's talk about this exclusive Trackmaster 2 Thomas it has got seagulls on the side okay there are three there with a bit of a shadow on them so it looks like they're lifting up away from Thomas and on the other side here we have got four seagulls yes it's rather nice uh, the cab sticker is done okay there's nothing on the back like as always with Trackmaster 2 and let's take a look at the face <sighs> And sadly, we have just got a stock standard face on this Thomas. If it had a nice specialised face, like looking surprised because he's leaving Sodor and going around the world, I might have been a little bit happier. But as I've learned in life, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just very happy I have another variation on Thomas the Tank. I like to let the toys play on the turntable here before they get onto the playset, and we'll just revel in the beauty of that Thomas the Tank with those wonderful seagulls flying down the side. It would have made all the difference if it had a nice uh, specialized face and it's sort of funny because I've just finished looking at those turbo speed Thomases and I'm quite used to seeing these models going a lot faster than that. Just to give you an example I've got uh, Percy here, he hasn't burnt out on me yet and I've got the uh, tabs stuck on and hopefully I'll get this working okay. Okay go Percy go! Woo! Yeah he's on the inside track and somehow staying there. Whoa no! no! <laughs> Thomas is down! Thomas is down! That was uh, crazy and I also noticed that Percy uh, fell into trouble there. We'll get Thomas going again and we'll get crazy Percy. Um, don't do the mod that I showed in the other video because I do believe you'll burn out your Turbo Thomases. But hey, it's a lot of fun if you do the mod. That's the best fun you're ever going to have with your little toy trains and I love them going that far! Yes! Thomas is down! Oh, Percy's, Percy's in trouble there but Thomas is down! Thomas is down! And Percy isn't looking too happy either! That successfully derailed the video, and sorry for the pun there. I'll put Percy back where he belongs, over the back there. Uh, let's just talk about this and how it works on this track. Okay, the boat. Have you worked out what's wrong with the boat yet? Uh, we don't need to explain the wheels again. I showed you how all that works, hopefully before in the video. And then I'm trying to get this to work on Trackmaster 2 track because I'm sure that children would love to see this boat uh, zooming around in their Thomas and Friends world. Um, but I'm having a bit of trouble here. Why doesn't it go on this track? I know with some children they'll just keep banging it around to try and make it work and it's just frustrating it doesn't go on there. Nice catch, Potato Head Spider-Man. Why doesn't this fit onto the track gauge of the trains? I ditched the turntable. I've got a straight piece of Trackmaster 2 uh, track there. Let's see if the boat, because that's its name, can run on a straight piece of track. Well, it sort of does. It's basically riding and um, straddling the sides of the rails. These wheels are running on the sleepers there. Who knows, it may power up once I get the Thomas into this because the Thomas keys into those gears inside the boat. And we'll see if we can get this to run. Man, it feels very top heavy with Thomas in there, I can tell you. 
Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, Thomas is there. Driving his little heart out. Can we see any forward movement there, boys and girls? Well, I can't see any, and I think that's wrong. I know you're going to say, settle down, Leo. It's only a toy, and stop shouting. I'll shout as much as I like. That boat should work on the Trackmaster 2 track system because I know if my son was playing with this, he would try to get this to work on that. Maybe if I tap the table, we'll get some success, or maybe we won't. Occasionally, yes, we, occasionally we get a bit of movement, but it looks like this playset. Oh, bye, Thomas. Get out of here. Seems to work that the boat will play on this and not the Trackmaster 2 track, and that is a big problem in my world. And please correct me if you think I'm being unfair and wrong here. Please leave a comment and you tell me what you think about this boat, whether it should actually run on the track system or not. Oh, I actually feel like just stopping this review right now because I really don't feel like talking about this playset anymore. The thing that is missing on the boat, and it's a very simple thing, and it's so top heavy with Thomas, it's ridiculous. It's missing a very, very simple thing. And it's called a character name and a face. I mean, how simple would it be to put a face on this, give it a bit of a character, that it would make the playset a whole bunch better? You know, when I looked at the Thomas and Friends wiki about Big World Big Adventures, it was a whole passion about everything had a name and a face, and that's the whole thing about Thomas and Friends. How simple would it be to give this just a name? Go, make up a name. Gordon McFerry. Okay, I made up a name because, oh, the indignity, I've just grabbed one of Gordon's faces and put it on a ferry. Oh, get me off this boat, this is about the sink. Yes, Gordon's about the sink, but maybe when I get the place set up and running and see the merriness of this boat, I might start to settle down. Okay, I have the boat and sea playset made up. It's actually quite an attractive, eye-catching sort of toy. Uh, mainly because of the blue water on this side, and the water system is nothing like your Trackmaster 2 track. Uh, why aren't I surprised? It is very, very different. I also notice there's a bit of a lump on this piece of track here. I dare say that holds the boat, which is now called Gordon McFerry Face. Uh, there, so when Thomas or whoever comes along here, as long as it's tenderless, can then traverse the wild, wild seas. I've actually just got down the side here, the Twisting Tornado set, and let me just lay this in on top to show you the size of one versus the other. The Twisting Tornado playset came with this wonderful Thomas with a nice special face, very, very nice. And my son had a passion for putting the Thomas inside the tornado, which I thought was rather cool. Now let me just pull back here and we'll see the size of the Twisting Tornado set versus the Boat and Sea set. I've just stepped a bit further back from the table here and letting you look down on top of both of these playsets, one laying on top of the other one. Do you remember early in the video I showed you the box artwork of one versus another? Which playset seemed bigger in the box artwork and... Well, which playset is actually bigger in real life? Hmm, that's curious, isn't it? That's tricky, isn't it? Uh, two totally different shapes in these playsets, and really, they'll be two totally different ways they play out. Uh, my son actually loved the Twisting Tornado playset. Yes, it's a little bit of a one-trick pony, but it's actually a fancy-looking piece there. Let me just put this away nice and gently. Ooh, it's on the ground now. Wow, that really disassembled the playset completely. Lucky they make them tough. And don't forget, boys and girls, always look after your toys because they are precious to you. Let me get Gordon McFerry face uh, into a position where he can play on the playset. Crikey, he's a little bit top heavy, and it is nice in the playset. We have these little destination places. I think we'd only ever set it back to that. We always want to go back to Soda Island. The other dock has the same play feature. Welcome to, it must be China, I can't read that. And this one says, welcome to Dakar, Senegal. I think the one that's missing there is Welcome to Soda Island. Yes, there is an extensive bloopers reel, and you need to have Gordon McFerry face facing in a certain direction here. Okay, I've got Thomas on a stop go here. We'll turn Thomas on. Stop goes are important. I like stop goes. So sets of points, and we could break out to another playset, being Twisting Tornado or whatever you want, and we'll get Thomas going here. We can see if we can capture the action without any more failures. Go, Thomas, go. It actually looks rather grand. He's rocking and rolling there. I'm starting to feel a bit happier now. And then Thomas comes around here. And because uh, Gordon McFerry face hasn't come back, Thomas decides to go across the sea like someone very, very famous and smack into the back of Gordon McFerry face. Maybe I need to go and read the how to play. Well, maybe if I reset Thomas here, and he's now leaving Soda Island and going somewhere else. He'll be able to join up with the ferry and go for a merry ride. Oh, okay. 
failure, failure, failure. I'm starting to learn there's uh, actually a couple of very defined rules about this place and things that it can't and can't do. It's more of the things that it can't do than it can. Let me just turn Thomas off and let me just get my act together here. It looks like I've got to always turn Gordon McFerry face around to accept Thomas in that one direction. That's not the band one direction, that's just the direction of a train. Let's see if I can get Thomas going again. Are you impressed by this playset or would you give it a miss? What do you think, eh? I don't know. I've actually given up trying to work out what's going on here. I'm sure that should have worked. I'm sure Gordon McFerry face is facing the right direction. What am I doing wrong here? Just let me look at this how to play bit. Okay, yep, yeah, the boat can travel, travel in either direction. Thomas powers the boat, we know that. Okay, let me just give that another go. <laughs> what is going on here? Or am I just getting the gremlins because I've been a little bit narky in this review? This should work. Oh, thank goodness it did. What went on before? Very strange. It looks nice. I like that. Rock and rolling a bit. Thomas departs. And then if I've got to do is get Gordon McFerry face there again. There we go. I'm Now I'm having fun. A little bit of resetting to do along the way okay and if I just grab Thomas here and we'll just you know pretend he's on the siding there we can turn um, Gordon McFerry face around there and Thomas has done his delivery or whatever or maybe on another playset and Thomas comes along here and does something like that it is rather magical to watch it is quite calming I need calming in this video don't I Oh, crikey, he almost had a bit of trouble there. Now let me just spin Thomas around, and hopefully, is that gonna work? Oh, I've gotta turn this around. There we go. It works in both directions, but I think it only works when Gordon McFerry face is facing in a certain direction, because if I turn Thomas around here now, wow, that is magical. Well, you don't see that on YouTube every day, I can tell you. It's that sort of magic I could never make happen twice. Let me just grab Thomas here and grab all the indignity, Gordon McFerry face, uh, face him in the right direction there. And I'll set Thomas here and we'll just watch the glory of uh, Thomas and the boat, which is now called Gordon McFerry face, uh, traversing the sea there. It is quite magical. And Thomas will jump the boat, uh, he's back on Sailor Island and he's looking very, very fine and dandy until he misses the boat. And then he decides to go across the wonderful seas all by himself. Okay, I have reset Gordon McFerry face is now back at this dock here, Soto Island. And I've actually added one piece of rolling stock as you would do. It could be a tender engine as you would do onto this train here. It's on the stop gear. Let's see how it traverses with Gordon McFerry face. Go Thomas, go! Well, that's different, isn't it? Maybe it's going to pick up on the other side and everything will be fine and dandy, but I I wouldn't be uh, laying money on that. Let's see. And it's come to a grinding halt. That's a bit different. Sometimes a slap on the table will get things playing, uh, but Thomas can't get back up onto the land. Disappointing. But don't worry, sometimes it's fun playing like that. Isn't it, Thomas? It's always fun playing like that, I know. So we're learning what this playset can and can't do. Let's try one of the beautiful Turbo Speed Thomases. I actually quite like this toy. I've hacked it so it'll be turbo all the time. And uh, maybe and maybe not it's going to work on this playset. In fact, I might have to give it a bit of a standing start over here. Okay, let's see. Go. Well, it won't like the corners, but let's just see if we can get on the boat. There you go. That's the best fun you're ever going to have. I've actually worked out that yes, I can make this Turbo Thomas, apart from fly, I can make it work on the boat. I did do this before, and if I just sit it here, get it engaged with those gears, you have to believe me on here, this is where I burn out the motor. Okay, go Thomas, go! Yes, 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 and Turbo Thomas, you! It works. I made it work. And because I'm uh, ridiculously addictive to stupid things like that, I'll get Gordon McFerry face. Oh, the indignity, stop calling me that ridiculous name. And I'll get uh, Turbo Thomas here and I'll just feed it in here because I know you'll be doing this at home when you buy the set. You will be buying it, won't you, boys and girlsy, mumsies and dadsies? Okay, let's see if we can go here. 
Bit of an easy. Yes, 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 yes. Turbo Thomas, go. Turbo Thomas, go. Yes, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, bring it on. And that's how you burn out your Topo Thomases. Don't do that like I did. I'll just grab Gordon McFrey face. Oh, the indeed to be quiet of that ridiculous name. Quiet, Gordon. I don't want to hear your opinion. You're boring. Right, I'll give this another go because I like playing like this. And I know you're going to like playing like this because this is all the fun. Okay, Turbo Thomas, show Gordon McFrey face the ultimate speed on the ocean. Go, 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 go! Yes, yes! Wow! Turbo Speed Thomas is down. Turbo Speed Thomas is down. I know lots of people ridicule me. They say, Leo, you don't know how children play, blah, blah, blah. I like train sets that are capable of doing, well, lots of things and things that mesh together and work as a system. Let me just get... Gordon McFerry face there. Let me just try this one more time. Just so we're being fair and we're seeing it multiple times. Who knows? It, it may make it across and be able to, you know, show us that it is uh, maybe worthwhile having to play with because children will get tender engines and things and they'll want to play like that. It might make it through. Come on, please, please. Yes. We have a redemption there. Maybe we want to see that one more time. Well, we like seeing that as well. Yeah, maybe that is the fun of this playset. You know, Thomas tracking across water. I've just reset Gordon McFerry face there, and I've got Thomas on the stop. Go here. Go, Thomas, go. And we'll have a bit of a closer study of how this works, eh? Yeah. Okay, watch them very, very carefully this time. Nice and close. Nice, rough seas there, Thomas, I can see. And... No, it's failed. If I had a rubber chicken, I could give it a slap, but uh, it's missing. There are a couple more things I was going to do with this playset. I will show you something which I feel is very important, especially when you have a toy which has a boat with it. I'll just grab this here. I want to take the Thomas off there. He's still working, isn't he? I'll turn him off nice and gently, of course. Okay, here's Gordon McFerry face, as I've named it. Maybe it does have a name, maybe it doesn't. But it needed a name, it needed a face. That would have lifted this set up, and boy, does it need lifting up. Let's see if the boat actually floats. Now, I think on the box artwork, I noticed it says it doesn't float, but I've got to ask myself, why doesn't the boat float Titanic style? Maybe that's why they've got the Titanic on the box artwork as well. It's all starting to make sense now. I absolutely know of my children absolutely know that whenever there is a toy that there is a boat it goes in the bathtub it goes into the pool it's always going into water it might be the best fun for the fact that that thing sinks like the titanic <laughs> it's it's almost comical isn't it i'm not laughing i'm actually crying because i'm sort of wondering where is the fun in this so just let me remove this tub of water and i'll do one more test now this next test is one that I've performed on many a toy in this toy review area. Before we do the test, let me show you how I saw this toy in store. I often saw lots of them on the shelves. I think my advice here is uh, wait till discounting happens and heavy discounting, then come and grab this toy. For this test, I have removed Gordon McFerry face and uh, Seagull Thomas away. And we're going to very simply pick up the toys. If you've been told, please move it to another room by your parents, caretakers, whatever, or you want to clear it off the floor yourself. I'm going to pick it up at one of the docks here. Let's see what happens. Failed. It was that three strikes and you're out. I've actually lost count on this playset. Well, I hope you enjoyed this toy review, which is not a toy ad, and helps you make the decision when you're out there buying these wondrous toys. I do look at the Fisher Price website reviews before I make my review for YouTube about a playset. And so often what I think is a really good set, I won't see that reflected in the reviews on the Fisher-Price website. And the flip around of that is a set which I think is lacking. I will see some totally amazing reviews on the Fisher-Price website. So who knows, maybe I'm getting it totally wrong. Maybe you need to go to the Fisher-Price website to see what people are saying about these toys. I will finish this video off with a little bit of video that I took while I was trying to work out the name of the boat. Yes, those Thomas and Friends wiki fandom pages Obviously someone is making a lot of money from things that are set up in a very sinister way. 
I can't stand these Thomas Wiki pages. They are so packed loaded with ads and traps and stuff. And when I go down here, that video there will minimize down to there. When you go to try to close that down, watch what happens. I'm going to hit the X there and it opens up to that. I mean, that's just wrong. That is an ad trap. I'm really, really sick and tired of looking at these ridiculous uh, Thomas Wiki pages. They're really, really set up with tons and tons of ad traps. Well, the thing that I'm seeing about Big World Big Adventures is it just seems to be a stack of character bloat and um, lots of things have names, but from what I can work out, um, that boat hasn't got one.